All right, what's going on dudes and welcome back to the wonderful world of Hexit where I have arranged my inventory, cleared out my backpack, repaired my armor, and now we're ready to rock and roll once again. And by rock and roll, I mean we're ready to craft the last piece of tribal armor that we need to complete the set and that would be the boots, I believe, which are crafted with a couple of string, a couple of leather, and a hexical diamond. And I do believe that we have all the necessary resources right here in our inventory. How convenient! It's like I prepared or something. So, let's make the hexical diamond to begin with because obviously we need that. And then, a couple string, a couple leather, and bada bing bada boom, that completes it right there. So, are you guys ready to get all tribalified out? Yeah, I'll need some tribal tats or something like that. Not really, I don't know. Any hoosers, let's grab this and this and this and now I'm gonna wear the, the super duper, the title set of hexical gear. It's the hexit icon when you run the program. Oh my goodness, it's amazing. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna look so swagged out. I look kind of, I don't know, I actually look kind of average to be completely honest. The helmet's cool, but the rest just looks like regular armor, at least relative to, to the way that the scale stuff looks. Anyway, so now we have, what are our buffs here? We have night vision, we have strength, and we have a jump boost three. Wee! Still not as good as the, uh, the cloud boots though. It's, I mean, it's kind of nice. I guess it allows us to jump up like three blocks, but the cloud boots are like jumping extravaganza. Like it gives us that rabbit icon down there. Pretty sure the cloud boots are far more rabbit-like. And also night vision is kind of meh. I don't know about the night vision thing. I, I do really like the fire resistance that the the, uh, the scale armor provides. So anyway, at least we have this if we need it because uh, we do get the strength boost, which is good. And if we ever need to have jump and strength at the same time, which we can't do at the same time with the scale armor, then uh, we've got this handy, but for now, let's go ahead and put our scale stuff back on, cloud boots back on as well, and we'll toss the tribal armor back in the backpack here. Actually, what we can do is we can toss it on down here so it's nice and organized, and also put the thief's hood down there. And then let's check out our crafting recipes for the thief stuff so we know exactly what we're gonna need to get in order to craft this. So thief's chest plate. We're gonna need red wool, we're gonna need what we currently have, and we're gonna need gray wool. Okay, so red wool and gray wool, which means we can just get some flowers, and then actually, do we even have any wool on us? I'm not sure if we do. We might need to go shear some sheep. Wool anywhere, do I have wool? I have magenta wool, I have pink wool. I, I do have red wool, actually, so we're good on the red wool. I just need the gray wool. We have one gray wool. We need one more gray wool. <laughs> I'm one gray wool short of having all the non-hexical uh, essences required to craft the, uh, the thief stuff. I just want to check to make sure I don't have gray wool sitting in any other chest. I don't think I would, but let's just be 100% sure. Yeah, okay. So I need to find a sheep that is gray which I think is doable. Let's find some shears, we'll bring them with us, and those would be in the tool chest. Bring those along, and then the last thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to apply efficiency five to our pickaxe, but I don't think I actually have enough levels to be able to do that. Let's check really quickly. We'll add efficiency five to our pickaxe. It's probably gonna be really expensive, eight. Actually, it's not very expensive, but we only have four levels left after all my armor repair. God, the armor repair is, is quite ridiculous. I don't know how we're ever going to be able to apply uh, Unbreaking 3 to this stuff, because just by the time we get the amount of levels required to do all that, our armor is worn down a whole bunch, and I just have to repair it. So I have to use all the levels I would have used on Unbreaking What I could do is just... That might be a good idea, is just use diamond armor, and then get the levels, and then, because I don't care about diamond armor, because I have so many diamonds, it's ridiculous. That's what I should do. So let me just grab some regular, regular old-fashioned diamond armor, which, uh, do I have any fancy ones? This one, and some boots with projectile. Yeah, that's cool. Respiration 3. All right, we'll grab this set of diamond armor, and I'll use it for now. And then what I can do is get the levels I need, and then... Haha, ha, put unbreaking on this stuff, and we'll be cool. 
because I don't really care about this since we have like 500,000 million diamonds in here. Good God, that's a lot of diamonds. We can make diamond armor suits for days. So let me toss this in the backpack as well. Look at this. Look at these completed sets of hexical gear. All we need are three more pieces and it'll be amazing. Okay, so we're good there. Keep the boots down there as well. Go ahead and toss this back. And yeah, let's make our goal to find gray sheep to get experience and to profit. That will be uh, the goal of what we're gonna be doing here. So let me just toss this stuff where it belongs once again. And all right, good to go. So let me take the uh, teleporter back to where we were. I exchanged out one of our current or our prior teleportation coordinate things for the uh, the snow castle since we weren't using uh, where it was actually taking us. I forgot which one I substitute, substituted out. But anyway, no matter. Let us continue. What I thought we'd do is just continue to explore the, uh, the snow biome because it's kind of big, it seems, and it could very well have some more of the, uh, the better dungeon structures that we still haven't encountered. Also, it would seem that a lot of people have told me the underground uh, dungeons, or the underground battle towers, I should say, actually have uh, a fair amount of hexit gear in them. I don't know, it's just, that's that's what I'm hearing. It's what I'm hearing. I don't know if it's 100% true or not, but it's worth investigating. So if we find an underground battle tower, we can make an effort to conquer that and see if it happens to have any hexit gear in it. If it doesn't, no harm done, nothing lost. We'll probably get some good gear anyway, so why not? You know what, I just completely forgot about the whole sheep thing, and uh, a falling star kind of just fell over there. Let me grab it really quick. I realized that I should probably just, uh, you know, go ahead and, oh, I didn't even realize that getting a star gets you uh, experience, that's cool. Um, let me go ahead and shear a sheep. I think that's, a, that's definitely a black sheep. So because there aren't any gray sheep around, let me go ahead and uh, do this. Get some wool from you. Maybe get some additional wool just in case we need it in the future. And let me also toggle downfall because, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, despite the fact that it is the holiday season, snow just kind of gets in the way of your view. What can I say? What can I say? Okay, so let me jump over the creeper. Share you, and we'll be, whoa, good, and, <laughs> oh, did, oh, he didn't take out any of the sheep. How nice, how nice. I thought that just after using the non-violent way of obtaining wool, the creeper was just gonna blow him up, and I was gonna be like, well, so much for that. Um, <laughs> anyway, what I can do is uh, go ahead and make gray dye, and then I can dye the wool gray, and uh, yeah. That'll be a way to do it. So can we find any squids? Ha ha, there are some squids conveniently located right in front of us. Woo, there we go, you're done zoed. Get some, uh, some black ink sacks from that and take you out. I'm one hit KOing them and it happens so fast that they are <laughs> still floating around for a couple of seconds after they drop their ink, look at that. They're like, oh, oh wait, I'm supposed to die now. Oh God, no, I'm sorry. Here you do so much damage that that you're catching us off guard to stuff and things. Anyway, okay, so we have our ink sacks, and then I guess I just need some bone meal. Where is the bone meal? Are there any skeletons around here willing to volunteer themselves for me to be able to obtain the thief's hood and thief's... No, I have the thief's hood, Um, but the thief's chest plate and the thief's leggings and the thief's stuff and... Oh, there's another structure over there with the, the Necronomicon mod stuff in it and whatnot. Uh, but first, let me... Okay, here we go. Skeletons. So nice to see you. Also, by the way, I do notice that there's an igloo over there, and I will get to that in just a second. But first, bone meal, please. Bone bone meal. Bone meal, please. I, I know I have a lot of bones bag of the, bag of the tree, but uh, may as well just do this real quickly. All I need to do... Oh, it just stopped me eating. All right, rude. Get out of here. Okay. So let me combine, did I get, yes I did, boom. Combine that with that and get some gray dye. A lot of gray dye actually, more than we need. And then see if I can get some gray wool from that. Fantastic, cool, cool beans, cool. So now we have plenty of gray wool and that is all the stuff that we need aside from the hexical essence, obviously. 
in order for us to make the thief armor stuff. So as soon as we get hexagonal essences, we'll be good to go. Let's check out the igloo thing. This isn't something we've noticed before. Um, so in honor of the Christmassy season, at, can, can I not just jump in? Like really, you're not gonna let me just jump in? Nice, thanks, thanks, okay. Well, um, well, I'm just gonna mind my way, and then I was trying to, like, maintain the sanctity of the igloo, but, uh, apparently, that's not what's gonna happen here. Alright, guys. Alright, let me take you out. Oh, it's just a little skeleton dungeon igloo. Fine. Oh, god. Oh, god. Ow. Alright, I'm gonna take lots of damage. Oh, but it's okay. I have my diamond armor on, and I don't really care, because I have so much diamond. I am holler holler. Get ballersing. Okay, off we go. Beautiful. Shall we investigate the... Oh, God! You caught me off guard there, sir. Um, I was going to say, shall we investigate the thing and, and hope that maybe there are Necronomicon pages in there? I don't know. Or shall we investigate what looks like it might be an underground battle tower over there? Hmm, <laughs> could it be? Could it be? Let's investigate first. Let us investigate first, or is this just a regular old structure thing? This is most definitely an underground battle tower. Shall we check if it has fancy gear or no? We're gonna check. We're gonna check. See you later. But, oh god! Oh god, I'm so sorry, sheep. You were wrong place, wrong time. What can I say? What was that? Oh, is that a <gasps> It's a penguin. Oh my god, it's a penguin. Have we seen penguins? We've definitely seen penguins before. I don't know why I'm freaking out about this. I just am not remember. Stop! The poor sheep! The poor sheep! Protect them! Oh god. Have mercy. Have mercy. Oh god. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm protecting you, sheep. Please, give thanks. Oh no, the penguin's coming in here too. This is dangerous. This is a dangerous place for you guys. I guess we're going down on this side. Oh, no, I, oh, we're going down over here. We're going down, down in an earlier round. Shaka, we're going down, swim it. I'll be a holy crap. There are a lot of spiders. I know you got a lot of spiders and I don't like them. So let's continue. I, you know, what I might do is just charge to the bottom level. Let me just, I'm just gonna charge down, charge on down, and see if the stuff at the, this is probably just a poor, poor decision, like a really, really poor one. But what can I say? Um, I do actually care about my cloud boots as a thing, but we have a lot of cloud boots, so I guess it's not a big deal. But anyway, okay, let me, what, I, what I'm gonna do here is take out some spawners as, as I'm able to. Oh god, spider, snap it, snap it, snap it! Snap, ow, it hurts, it hurts a lot. It hurts, it hurts, it hurts, leave me alone! Oh my god, I'm mining with my torch, stop! Oh Jesus, oh Jesus, and this is solid. I can't actually get through this one, is this the very bottom? It's not the very bottom, it must not be the very bottom. Oh, so much stuff. How's my armor doing? It's getting absolutely destroyed, and this dude has a friggin' Krechnerite, why do you have a Krechnerite helmet on? And or Meteorite helmet. It's not okay. Well, I picked it up anyway. I think I picked it up. I don't know if I picked it up. What I do know is that, uh, was that skeleton wearing a zombie mask? <laughs> oh, jeez. So having made it all the way down here, um, what have we learned? We've learned that the bottom level of the battle tower is not that cool. Nope, it is not. Okay, let me just step. Jesus. God dang it. God dang it. Step. Oh my goodness. Well, got a lot of levels of experience. I could use this as an experience grinder, couldn't I? Yes, I could. So, yeah, we made it to the bottom of the battle tower, and sure enough, not much cool stuff. Not much cool stuff. Let me toss some stuff that I don't need back in the chest here, just to clear out a little bit of inventory space. It'll probably fill up as we go back to the top. But, uh, yeah. Well, this must have been just a really lame battle tower. What can I say? See if there's anything cool? Nope. Nothing, nothing cool, nothing cool. Nothing cool, just a whole bunch of things trying to kill me for uncool gear. Nope. It'd be cool if you could not do that. That's what would be cool. Amidst all this uncoolness, it would be quite cool if you guys could just leave me alone for a second to allow me to exit the vicinity of this particular location because your chests are full of worthlessness. No offense, but they really are. They really are full of lots of worthlessness. I'm gonna try to make it up. Okay. Okay. All right. Leave me alone. It's it's the poison that really gets me. It is. And we're still not to the top. How many levels did I just drop down? My goodness. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh boy. There we go. And back up to the surface. So much for that underground battle tower. Didn't really accomplish much, did we? 
except for reducing the durability of our armor by a serious amount and getting ourselves poisoned. And yep. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. That's three. That is uh, one more until we can do the next piece of equipment, which is pretty awesome. So that'll bring us only two away from a completed set. All right. Mimics. Nope. No mimics. No mimics. No mimics. I just have to, uh, I guess, mine out the walls. Perhaps this one will have, um, I don't know, cool stuff and things. And golden apple, that's nifty, I guess. But still, I really, all I really want is not to have a Chocopedia in my inventory. That's what I, what I really want is I don't want your Chocopedia. Is that, okay, cool. Thanks, thank, thanks. That's nice. Thanks, Chocopedias. They're cool and stuff. I do, do like me some Chocopedias. They're useful. I've, uh, I've, well, I mean, they probably are useful, actually, not to, yes, yes, Necronomicon page, yes, your boy, it is your boy, most definitely, your boy, up in here, getting Necronomicon pages, and, yup, that's how we roll, so we just got extremely unlucky last time around, apparently, that there were no Necronomicon pages in the entire dungeon thing, um, by the way, I saw a comment on the last episode, that said, I can actually increase my health to 20 hearts by doing something fancy. I just don't remember the exact process of that fanciness, but I kind of want to know it. So I'm probably going to look back. Oh god, there are a lot of things that are angry right now, but they're all stuck in spider webs. And that is an infernal, <laughs> it's an infernal set of haunted armor. Okay, that's some serious business. And we're all stuck in cobwebs. What a shame. What a shame. Give me... Oh, God, there are a lot of these dudes this time around. A lot more than there were last time. All right. And you're all getting done so And you're all getting done so Left and right, left and right. The cobwebs are your own downfall here. Like, you set them up. You set them up, and I'm just going to knock you down. Because that is your mistake. That is your mistake, buds. I wonder if maybe this is a, a multi-level thing. Let's see. Double mimics there, double mimics. Ooh, is this a secret pathway? Is it? No, it's not. It just leads to disappointment. <laughs> it's a secret passageway that leads to nothing. Cool. I wonder whether or not that's an actual chest. You know, sometimes, sometimes chests just emit particles like that. It's a, it's a phenomenon known as a chest -a kiss particle -a kiss emit a kiss. Rare Enderborn Project Zulu Core Dot Mimic of Recklessness. And you're done. You're so done. And he dropped a living metal giant sword, which unfortunately is not as good as the diamond giant. Oh, bummer. Well, let's throw this stuff away. Um, I don't think I need to keep the freeze right, nor the living metal. We have them both already, and we haven't used them all that much. Throw that stuff in there, and throw stuff I guess I do want to keep in our backpack. Oh, by the way, something I've been meaning to show you for a while is, you know, I was talking about the the whole I wish I had an object that could teleport me a lot thing. Um, turns out that the walker sword, it's not a, uh, it's not a right click, it's a shift right click, and then you teleport. And then you end up in a cobweb on the roof after you jump because, because <laughs> oops. Anyway, um, so what I can do is I can just shift right click, boom, teleport, and boom, teleport, and it is kind of obnoxious that the shield in my inventory is causing that to happen, so it always switches to it, but what I can do is boom, 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 oh, so much teleportation, and accidentally set off mimics, oh god, oh god, be careful. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of cool, you can just teleport all over the place. Nifty, 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 except it only does two and three damage to haunted sets of armor, so not exactly the best in that department. But if we remove our shield there, we can do cool things. Are there any more walls to mine out? Oh, hello, everyone. How are you guys doing? So many, so many. And I'm going to take you all out. If only I had a piece of TNT, it'd be phenomenal. There were six, six of these guys all just hanging out and stuff. And let me just do some armor piercing action on you and see you all later. I am collecting so much ectoplasm. Don't even know what to do with it. Boom, and still, still nothing. Still nothing. Well, I guess that's just about it for this dungeon. Probably, I think, maybe. I don't actually know. Boom. And that's been gotten into before. That's also been gotten into. I think we totally cleared this thing out. 
at least we got one Necronomicon page. How many did we need again? I think we needed eight. All right, Necro, Necronomicon, we need, oh, we only need, uh, so we have three, we need two more, and then we can make the Necronomicon, cool. That's uh, less than I thought, I thought we needed eight, so that'll be even easier, and we're back out, back out into the, the wild wilderness. So perhaps what I'll do is uh, cut it right here for this episode, um, but hopefully you've enjoyed. If you have, a rating would be much appreciated. Other than that, thanks for watching, and when we come back, I will hopefully have found uh, something new and cool of interest, and things will happen that are important and stuff. Things that I don't know. Alright, I'll see you next time.